Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Welcome to my channel, Living Fruit Little. My name is Debbie. I have a bucket of rocks here. This is how many rocks you get. There's a lot of river rocks. There's a lot of different kind of rocks here. And let me tell you the reason why I'm doing this. Um, I just went out this morning and my strawberries were eaten. And I don't think it was rabbits because uh, it was like nibbled or it was pecked at. There were certain ones and some just died because of laying down onto the, the ground, I guess, from all the rain. Um, but found out that birds, we have tons of birds here, uh, red cardinals, all different ones, you know, uh, different birds, blue jays and everything. And um, I found a couple of strawberries in my tomato bed on the side of the house, and um, they were tucked there. So I don't know if it, it could be field mice and all that. But if I can prevent one predator, I don't care what it is, um, from a bird, well, if I'll link it below, I forget hit the name. He's a he's from New Jersey, and um, he has great information. He's been growing a lot. I've been watching his uh, his channel for a while now, and I'll link it below in the description, or I'll have it linked right here. But I'm picking him up, and he had he he had red rocks. So what I'm going to do is grab a few different sizes. It doesn't matter, and I'm going to paint them red. And I'm going to throw them in there and see what happens. Because I had tons of strawberries blooming. And they're all gone. They're totally gone. You could tell it was eaten. That big one that I showed you in one of my videos, it's totally gone. Only the unripe ones are not there. So that's what, there's still quite a bit. But if I can prevent it, this is another way. So I just don't want to have to harm them. You know, it's, it's nature. You always have to figure out a way. I'm starting to put my seeds in. Of stuff that can keep them away different things like uh, st. John's wort so hopefully I get that in so all right stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like also I want to show you a clone see that you just take the leaves off you can leave one or two um, I only left one you don't even have to leave any um, what you do is score at the, at the bottom of it and put in root stuff you know a booster and uh, stick it in soil or water Water is another sort of way, and I did it with honey, and it worked. That's how these are. And this is for the first year. I guess the first couple years, it doesn't grow anything. The only thing is the nutrition here. See how the yellow leaves, either something is attacking me. I have to find out what's going on with it. But they're already blooming, and I have tons on there, and I showed you. So, yeah, I'm going to have it go across like a bed. So I'm going to do more, and then I'm going to do some around my um, vegetable garden, my gardens. And just put them in the corners inside of the um, the garden in different spots here. But there you have it. So yeah, I put, I'll probably do more if this works. I didn't want to do too many. So I did a few. I'm going to space them out. Um, to have it, you know, in areas. Whoops. Should have done that one there. Should have kept the right words at. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out. Um, hopefully they come in certain areas, but I have to make sure they don't touch my strawberries. Quite a bit here, so just figure I'll put them in different spots. All right, if you want to try this, uh, I'll leave a link of his uh, his channel. He has a lot of good ideas organically. He grows in New Jersey, like I said, so. Alright, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not sub, please sub to me, and hit that notification bell for future uh, videos. I have a quite a bit more I'm trying to get done, and I have a lot of stuff to do, so. Alright, bye guys.